Hi, I'm Jeff Davis at Quick Racing Products, located in Southern Illinois in a little town called Pittsburgh. And today, I'd like to show you our torsion bar dyno and, and the methodology we use when in testing uh, torsion bars. Uh, this torsion bar dyno is capable of doing 26 to 30 inch bars for sprint cars, micros, and midgets. Uh, one thing with this machine, we use a standard 15 inch arm on rating all bars because all we're interested in doing is rating the actual torsion bar itself. Uh, we believe that you know there is some facilities they'll use different arms to give you you know this arm does that this arm will do this but what we're looking for is just rating the bar itself and being able to tell you if it's stiffer softer livelier or uh, lazier. Uh, basically in this machine here is uh, an AccuForce. Uh, it's built in Millersburg, Ohio. Uh, Keith Berner is the owner, and he's put a lot of R&D into this machine before introducing it to the marketplace a couple years ago. So we really have faith in a lot of the information that this machine uh, gives us, just because it's been R&D'd so much, and that we've had it for just a little over a year before offering the service to our customers. Uh, basically right now I'm gonna show you how we load the torsion bar and how we run through our cycle when we do the testing. Uh, you'll send us a bar and you'll have marked on it if it's a right rear, left front, uh, left rear, left front. We'll load the bar in the machine just as it is in your car. We'll attach the arm. We'll set our stop. We'll turn the machine on and we'll do a run. Now basically, we'll do three runs. This will be the first run. We do three runs because in doing the testing, we found that the bars do have a memory. And after sitting all week or sitting in a trailer when not in use, they'll go back to that memory. And it takes three cycles before the bar will go back to its natural set. So after we've run the bar three times, then we'll take the full pool on the bar and actually rate the bar. Now when we rate a bar, we use the three inch number. Uh, the actual machine, it will rate the bar from zero to five inches or zero to 20 degrees. It takes a five inch swing in, on this machine, that's a 20, 20 degree range. Uh, but when we actually label your bar and stamp it, it's gonna be rated at the three inch number because we feel that all the, every quarter inch is just as important as the three inch number. Uh, it'll take the reading of the compression side and it also takes the reading of the rebound side and it will tell you the difference between the two split, the, the two poundage split of the two sides. So basically you'll have your compression side, rebound side and you'll be able to see the difference of what that's generating. And what we found out there is the lower the number or the closer, closer the, the two sides are together, the livelier the bar is. It'll pick the car up a lot quicker if it's got the same rebound rate as it did on the compression side. Now when, we've, we rate the, when we rate the bar and run the machine, we'll give you either a printout or we can take a memory stick and put that in the machine for the people that like to keep their stuff on a computer file and you can, you can log it that way or you can keep the hard copy in the trailer. And when we label the bars, we'll take in serial, serial number of the bar, we'll put what corner and how many pound the bar is. And basically we put the three inch number as a quick reference. So if you're at the racetrack and you see that, you know, you want to go stiffer or softer, you can just go up in the trailer and look at the poundage readings on your bars and you'll know for sure which one's the stiffer or softer. Now if you want to get in more detail and find out which bar is the livelier or lazier, of that group of bars because you may have two bars of the same poundage at three inch, but one may be a little livelier than the other one, but you'd know which bar you want just by this documentation. Next, we're gonna show you some hard copies that we posted on the wall so that we can show you exactly what the screen shows, but this being a, a larger format, easier to see. Uh, these are both 28 inch bars. They're midget bars. This first bar is an eight and a quarter at three inches, it's 259 pounds. And like we said, it's rated every quarter inch or every degree up to 20 degrees. The split rate, 
the difference between the compression and rebound on this bar is in the three, four pound range, which is a pretty tight split. So this bar is pretty lively. It's almost got the same rebound rate as the compression. This other bar is an 800 bar. It's three inch number is 272 pounds. And its split rate is in the nine, six and fives. So this is telling us this bar is lazier than the bar over on this sheet. Another thing you'll notice is the 800 bar was at 272 pounds. The eight and a quarter was at 259 pounds. Now what you would have normally done, if you, had, you knew you had the 800 bar, 800 bar in, you would naturally fill it on the right rear. You'd want to stiffen it up just a little bit. You would go in the trailer and grab your eight and a quarter, put it in. But the problem is it's 259 pounds. It's actually softer than the 800 bar that you just took out. So you'd never really know is it the shock, uh, there's too much grip in the car, what the real problem is because you're going by the machining measurement stamped in the bar, but that's not telling you the true picture of what the poundage is of the bar. And another thing we found is dealing with brand to brand to brand to bar, they may not be all the same just because they're machined different. Uh, some of them have different effective lengths. So whenever you have a brand A, say, uh, it's a sprint car bar inch and a quarter and you put brand B in and it's an inch and a quarter, you may get two different feels and never get a baseline feel for your car because you know the poundages are never the same and you just keep jumping from brand to brand. So it's, it's real important, we feel, to know exactly where you're at at all times and make the right educated decisions. Another thing we'll find too when we dyno the bars is if there's any anomalies in this split number, like this bar here is all in the threes and fours. If it would show up to be a 10 or a 12 somewhere in that range and everything else is in the low numbers, we know that something happened to that bar in, and it's either exceeded its yield point or the bar is just wore out from fatigue and now it's lost its rebound rate and it can't pick the car back up anymore. So there's a lot of useful information in this to teams that they want to utilize this tool. Uh, the service is $12. I feel it's probably the biggest bang for your buck whenever uh, you know, you're looking for the, the next tool to help your race program go forward. Uh, we feel like you can uh, definitely benefit from this. So uh, if you got any questions, just contact us. Like I said, we're here in Pittsburgh, Illinois. Uh, thank you for your time.